Okay, so here we go. Now, let's talk about sex. So I'm in the gas station a little while ago, convenience store. And I see that as I'm looking for a candy bar, I see that they have above the candy section, they have the section for like personal items, band-aids, Tylenol, all that kind of stuff. Above that, they have a rack of condoms. Now, what caught my attention is the fact that, and I hadn't paid any attention to this because this is not a world that I roll in any longer. I'm at a stage in my life where these type of things uh, are not a part of my reality. So, for a variety, a variety of reasons. Now, um, there's 14, I counted 14 or 15 different types of Trojan condoms. Now, the question came to my mind, how, what, why, why is there a need for 14 different types of Trojan condoms or any kind of condoms for that matter? And I decided to come home and do some research. So I went to the Google machine and I pulled up how long does the average sex act last between the average 25 year old couple? Okay, because that's the demographic that most likely would be using these products. The sex toy retailer Love Honey, who called themselves the sexual happiness people, surveyed 4,400 customers to find that most heterosexual couples have sex that lasts for an average of 19 minutes. That amounts to about 10 minutes of foreplay and nine minutes of penetrative intercourse. Now, most of the couples, 52% say they were happy with that number. Wow. About 23% of men and 19% of women said they wanted longer sessions. Which brings me to my question again. Why so many choices for a situation that only lasts about nine minutes on average? What is the necessity for and, and, and let me just let me, let me now let me just tell you some of the some of these different brands of condoms. You got Trojan Nirvana. You got Trojan Ecstasy, Ultra Ribbed, Lubricated. You got Trojan All the Feels with the classic feel, the thin feel, and the full pleasure feel. You got Trojan Ends, classic design, non-lubricated with no added lubricant. You got Trojan Fire and Ice, warming and tingling sensations, dual action lubricant. You got Trojan Bear Skin, get closer, 50% thinner. You got Trojan Ultra Thin for ultra sensitivity. You got Magnum, bare skin. You got, okay, let me see. Then you got uh, Magnum thin. Then you got Magnum regular, lubricated. Then you got Magnum ribbed. Then you got Magnum XL for contraception of plus STI protection. And then, wait a minute, why is there a Magnum XL? Magnum is already XL. So this is for the, okay, this is for the horse, the horse, okay. Magnum Ecstasy feels like nothing's there with ultra smooth lubricant. And then the regular Magnum XL. Okay, I'm just saying. Really y'all, this what y'all doing out here? Y'all are actually going in these stores and choosing between 14 different brands, 14 different types of condoms. Is all that really necessary? And let me tell you something too. When it comes to these exotic joints, Trojan, Nirvana, Ecstasy, Fire and Ice, like really, let me just say this. Fire and Ice with warming lubricant and all that. If it takes all that to make the act enjoyable, you probably want to work on your skill sets. I'm just saying. It shouldn't take all that to make the act enjoyable. I don't know how much difference that makes. I've never used a fire and ice condom. See, I came up in an era where you just said, hey man, let me get some Trojans. That was pretty much it. You got what you got. If it was too big, if it was too small, you had to make it work just had to work with it. You had to do what you had to do. 
I'm so glad I ain't in these streets. So glad I ain't in these streets.